While it's natural to give prominence to a car's total horsepower, the more character-defining statistic often is its specific output, how much juice it squeezes from each liter of displacement. Often, the higher this number, the greater the engineering effort that was put into the engine. So while the new baby Euro spec Volkswagen Golf has just 109 horsepower, it extracts that from a turbocharged inline 3 with just 1.0 liter of displacement. Meaning its state of tune is the near equal to that of the Golf GTI Sport, which makes 220 horsepower from an engine twice the size. The 1.0 liter triple was introduced a few years back in the tiny Volkswagen Up City car. It first reached the Golf in 2015 as a blue motion model, the slightly odd branding that VW uses outside the US to designate its Eco Specials. A recent mid-cycle update for Europe market versions has seen this mighty mouse powertrain promoted to become the entry point for the whole range, an attempt to entice some of those Europeans who are switching back to gasoline after diesel gate. Two versions of the engine are available a basic 84 horsepower unit that we suspect will mostly be restricted to rental car duties, and the punchier 109 horsepower version that we drove. Can you see the three? Automakers have become increasingly adept at disguising downsized capacity and reduced cylinder count, but the Golf 1.0 TSI is perhaps the best example yet of this sleight of hand. There are clues, but you have to be paying attention to spot them. The three cylinders idle is lumpier than the norm for four cylinder versions, and it's slightly reminiscent of the offbeat takeover that characterized air cooled Volkswagens once upon a time. Under gentle use, there's the occasional sense that the engine is misfiring, enough to trigger a flashback for anyone who ever nursed a beater with a failing ignition system, but accelerating makes it instantly better. The Golf manages to conceal its relative lack of pistons and cubic centimeters far better than Ford's similarly sized three-cylinder EcoBoost and Fiat's distinctly agricultural two-cylinder twin air. 